Hello and welcome to lesson 14c, an addendum to 14a on roof styles, uh, where we were complaining about the render finishes of dormer windows inserted into roofs, as we explained. We have, thanks to Vectorworks' own 2014 tutorial on dormers and skylights, uh, learned the errors of our ways um, with respect to those render finishes on dormers. However, there are there is a nuance to it which we'd like to show you now. Remember from Lesson 14a, uh, this dormer window, what we now realise is that there is a way to manipulate the texture finishes of the dormer walls. It won't quite do the dormer fascia or barge board, however, um, but for the record, let us just explore that. The key to it is to render by object. And then simply to select the part, so for example the top, um, not class texture, and, and this is why uh, it's counterintuitive to our principles that the texture will not be by class but will be by object uh, so the, that uh, with all the with all the pitfalls that entails in terms of viewport so there we go we just ascribe that texture to the roof and there you go bob's your uncle now what happened and you'll see here that indeed dormer walls are available to allocate a texture which we've already done here. The interesting thing here is that of course now the component textures will not be visible in the section. You can see that the component texture is gone. It's a little curious. Let us go back to the render method mode and go back to component and you'll see that whether it now once you've set the object texture, it doesn't make any difference whether it's in component mode or not. Now it's rendering by component. So by component, of course we can't select the parts of the roof. We go back to by object, take the top and set it back to class texture because of course roof main isn't allocated a texture so it's, it's just gone back to white but you can see here that of course the dormer walls I have allocated this texture I'm going to change them all back to class texture okay so all of them are from overall 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 and overall is class texture which is roof main class and doesn't have a texture okay it seems the clever thing here, I mean, generally we'd want the part rendered by component. Okay, ah, of course, yes, so that's brought that back, right. Let's go back to by object, which allows us to change the colour of the dormer walls. But first, edit the style. So, if I use component textures, and replace the roof. There we are. It's now rendering by component. But if I render it by object, it reverts. So now let's edit that style to render the objects by objects. So we can make the dormers pink render cladding. We can make the top have the tiles, the black slate tiles. We can make the bottom plasterboard. We can make the fascia the same as the class of roof fascia which is a uh, plastic isomer for 
So we've done top, bottom, gable walls, fascia, and the sides. We would want those to be the same as the fascia as well, so that would be a plastic isomer. So now we've got render by object textures. I, I don't like this because for the reasons that we've already explained many times that then in a viewport it, it, it's controlled by the roof style. If you wanted to make a different rendering in the viewport then perhaps what you'd do is, is well you'd have to change the roof style. Uh, whereas so it loses that beautiful control of being able to control attributes by class. That is the drawback whereas with component textures attributes are controllable by the class which is as I've said is counterintuitive to our, our modus operandi however so let's do that and replace the textures and there we are the interesting thing here is whether it is then rendered by object or by class it stays the same. At least the dormer walls do. So it's a kind of a workaround, a little handy trick that if you want to render by components, first of all change your roof style so that the objects are rendered by specific textures and then when you come back to render it by component, it's it's already got the attributes you want. And you can see all that's happened there is that the plasterboard soffit, which actually what is the component of that, of course, is it's probably a component I'm missing, yeah. So it's the underside, underside of the rafters. As a component would be sort of wood, we could add the lining to that because it's a cold roof, so there isn't one. But, but if you had then a, a, a plasterboard lining, there's a there's a component missing from here, uh, and and that would resolve that. So that is what we learned just to correct the mistake, which we like to do, and we welcome all viewers to put us straight where we have gone wrong. The dormer barge board and the dormer fascias have come out in the right render because roof sides was matching the fascia. So the dormer fascia and the dormer eaves are rendered as the sides of the roof. Yeah, you can see that. If you want your dormer fascia and dormer barge board to match your fascia, then make it the same colour. Finish. And there you go. Okay, thanks for watching.